Hello and welcome to Champions of Change, a TV series wherein we showcase enterprises that are transforming India's socio-economic landscape. In this special episode, we present you a company that is empowering women in the workforce with its progressive corporate policies. We're talking about home textiles giant, Wellspun. WOW, or Women of Wellspun, is an initiative that aims to identify and nurture diverse skill sets and navigate every woman at the organization to discover her highest potential. We caught up with Wellspun's CEO and Joint Managing Director, Dipali Goenka, to understand the company's approach to creating a culture of equal opportunity for its female employees. Dipali, so at Wellspun, over 30% of the workforce is women. And what's so interesting is they're not simply employed on the manufacturing floor, but they're also in deeply specialized technical roles as well. So do you believe that technology has become a leveler of sorts when it comes to gender inclusivity and hiring in the workforce? It is, and that's, that's definitely there. And I think COVID has taught us that. There were so many women who were not working. And now with the whole uh, hybrid model where you're working from home as well, there's an opportunity for all women. And the fact is that when you talk about technology, where you saw women in the manufacturing roles more, the opportunity is that you know women are there out there in technology, they're out there in space now, out there on manufacturing, they're multitaskers, they are women who handle home, they are handling children and they're handling work. Absolutely. I think that's what the world is. And the whole beauty is that you know when you talk about the five trillion GDP in our country, how is it going to happen if the fifty percent of workforce is not working? And that's that's what I feel is the greatest opportunity for us. Well I'd love to build on that because the Women of Wellspin initiative is somewhat unique to your organization and it not only focuses on corporate employees but also on plant associates. What is the intention of the initiative and what are its key focus areas? So let me first take it in from the beginning uh, before Women of Wellspun was even born. When I joined Wellspun I, you know, there were 7% women and today proud to say they are 30% women. We did a project in one of the biggest retailers in the world. Uh, about women associates with a uh, with a program with Swasti and NGO. You know these women. You know they they used to wake up at five a.m. in the morning. They used to manage everything at home and then come to work. We did this program where you looked at you know how the man of the house could help and support the woman as well. Interesting. So that that could they could share the workload. So, you know, for me and for us at Wellspun, that became something where, you know, you saw that, you know, more women came to, came to work. So the opportunity here is not just there, it's also with the women at the peer level. Um, and when I say that, you know, when you talk about diversity, it is not just about stating those numbers. It's about the ecosystem, how that ecosystem is, whether it's a family, it's the peers at work, and uh, the other support systems as well. So that's where it began. Sure. And today when we sp speak of women of Wellspun, the whole advantage and the opportunity is, it's about at all levels. So today I, I can tell you, and, um, and I'm, I, I would say that you know, today if I have around 25-26% at my blue collar level, my white collar would not be more than 7 to 8%. And at the top level, it will be just a 0.05 or a 0.67%. But the opportunity here is that you have a women of Wellspun where everybody, they come together. They have any challenges, they can reach out to these people whom they can, you know, uh, help them and guide them. So that's a big opportunity for us. We want to really make a difference in creating a diversified workforce across all levels. And that's where the women of Wellspun is an opportunity. For me, it's not just about women of Wellspun. It is also about the communities. Because at Wellspun, we want to become the agents of change and we are the agents of change. It's not just the women who work at Wellspun, it's the communities where, you know, we're working with a project called Spun. Where it's not about just women getting empowered, where they are doing beautiful stuff with upcycling two tons of rags that sure. we generate at Wellspun, but also their livelihoods. I always believe, and we believe at Wellspun, that, you know, if a woman gets empowered, the child is definitely going to go to school. And the vision of India to become that global superpower and that five trillion GDP is only going to happen 
that corporates like us can make that difference. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, uh, another question there, a rejoinder. You've gone on record to say that gender diversity in the workplace makes individuals stronger. But not only that, it makes organizations more resilient. How so and how do ultimately organizations derive strength from diversity with respect to becoming more future ready? In this world, and I always believe, when I came on the job at Wellspin India, I was a little apprehensive, being very honest, because when you come into this role of textiles, I came in from launching my spaces as a brand in right. 2003, and the retail and the consumer bit. I didn't know anything about manufacturing. But there's an interesting thing that I got on the table and which I felt and realized that what I have as my strengths, let me play on my strengths. Sure. You have an emotional quotient and the IQ. And I played on my emotional quotient. I knew the consumer well. I knew what my strengths li lied in. And that's where I began my journey on. And hence, that's where, you know, the whole vision and the goal is. That, you know, when you talk about diversity, you're getting the different element into place. It's not just about IQ. And technology is going to really make all the difference and, you know, going to make things like finance, things like the whole rigmarole that, you know, the daily rigmarole kind of jobs right. go rudimentary. What is going to be there that's going to be really important is in emotional quotient. It's about creativity, the element which a woman can also definitely get on, you know, on the table as well. That's what I believe in. And that's where this whole element of, you know, change is going to happen. Well, Dipali, as you just alluded to, businesses do have the power to become agents of change. Do you think there have been meaningful advancements across the broader Indian business landscape with respect to gender diversity in the workplace and hiring practices? I think there are a lot of things that are happening now. And uh, you can see it at the leadership level as well. And um, definitely you can you know, see that impact coming at a lot of corporates as well. And they are making that difference. When, you know, uh, when I'm talking to all my customers abroad and globally, they, they basically talk about that if it's women-led businesses, women-led businesses are given opportunities. They are given advantage, advantages over other, other business uh, run by, uh, you know, uh, different, uh, you know, <laughs> diversities as sure, well. Sure. So I think that's where India is moving towards. I mean, I remember our packaging globally in one of the biggest retailers again has a women, women led an initiative, a women led business. And that's kind of a label that goes in that packaging that is shipped from Wellspun uh, to the uh, United States of America. And that's what we will see happening more and more in this country. And that's the, that's the power of diversity that can really make that change happen. Well, that message is really resonating and I believe that Wellspun is truly doing its part in making that happen. So thank you for your efforts and contributions and for taking the time to speak with us. We wish you all the continued success. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll start a bit with the professional level um, enrichment of uh, career for women, etc. And I always look at, you know, how do I get them ready for the next role? You know, constantly encouraging them to be fit for the next level, to upgrade themselves continuously, to get all the soft skills as well. After our conversation with CEO and Managing Director Dipali Goenka, we spoke to the CEO of the domestic business at Melspan, Manjari Upadhyay, for her take on how the next generation of women leaders in the workplace can be identified, groomed and nurtured. Manjari, broadly speaking, what's your approach to nurturing the next generation of female leaders, not simply on a professional level but on a personal level? Yeah, so uh, I'll start a bit with the professional level um, enrichment of uh, career for women, etc. I always look at, you know, how do I get them ready for the next role? Uh, and that involves a lot of, whether it's on the job training, identifying special needs uh, for their training requirements, providing the work culture around for sure. them uh, to be able to do it with absolute comfort, ease, 
because it's truly when you make them feel themselves if they can be themselves at work they perform really well absolutely um upgrade their skills and then they are ready for um, next roles and and always coaching and guiding them on you know how to match your skill set to your aspiration mm -hmm. um and then look at both of them together see what can you do how do you need to demonstrate your performance in this coming year to be able to move to the next level um etc even I, i even encourage women to take up lateral challenges for example women you know who've never been in sales etc i definitely encourage them to take up a couple of sales assignments and you know be uh, be out there in the field doing customer facing roles because that's what sort of holistically uh, builds um, them as professionals sure. um, in this field and uh, that's what i do at professional front you know constantly encouraging them to be to be fit for the next level to upgrade themselves continuously to get all the soft skills as well to be able to manage teams managers stakeholders customers um etc and and that's an ongoing thing at wellspun by the way that we definitely are very very invested uh, in making sure that you know uh, our our skill set for not just women employees but also men mm -hmm. uh, that's just improving continuously phenomenal yeah at a at a personal level though i must say that i i have an open door policy and i i do end up uh, relating to a lot of women in the organization at a life stage level you know i've been through the same bit of you know being a mom to two now having teenagers right. pets at home <laughs> just the regular challenges of you know people not turning up not having enough support system children falling sick um and having to you know manage a lot of fronts including grocery shopping and stuff <laughs> like that so i i do chat up with people on these things and that's what i feel like you know there is relatability because of that and they don't see this as you know something that this woman doesn't have to deal with right or you know you know we have to deal with it but she doesn't need to it's not bad so and that that actually helps build positive uh, aspiration what is your approach to actively hiring women in roles traditionally occupied by men you know what sort of message does it send when women see other women led enterprises or come across other women in top management positions at multinational corporations for example mm -hmm. to what extent does the messaging resonate and what is that message you know when it um, comes to um, building talent um yes diversity is a huge theme uh, everywhere but i personally if you ask me i'm a proponent of you know having the right person in the right role sure and um, to your point on you know women now coming into fields that are male dominated yes there have been fields of engineering you know if stem students are largely are uh, men but now you do have women you know championing this cause uh, and it is about identifying that talent having that right skill set is still the most important thing that we look for mm -hmm. and in our categories i would say uh, the customer the end customer is is a woman she is the homemaker she is the one who decides what's best for her house uh, decor right um so why not have a woman as a customer facing person who can uh um, tell a little more bit more on not just the features and all the differentiators that our products have but how it makes customers feel at the end of the day about sure. you know looking like the house looks perfect you know, it's a personal high all of that you know women can easily explain in that sense and um but it's just a matter of getting out of your comfort zone and i do encourage women to look at cross functional roles and um different fields that have not been earlier but i we do have a very good ratio uh, of women in in male dominated field including sales you're of course a very active hands-on mentor when it comes to the women of wellspan initiative how do you broadly speaking assess its impact overall any mentorship you know it has i would di dimensionalize into two parts one is you know the immediate impact and and there is a bit of a medium long term impact is when when they see leaders talking to you directly mentoring you directly there is comfort of course um there is reassurance that you know when i also have uh, mentors right uh, right when i go and talk to them and when you know peers etc are assuaged it's it's a different it's a, it's a very short term impact but you know at that point in time i feel like very good about having spoken to my mentor and likewise you know i try and do that but there is a medium to long term impact which which comes through aspiration that yes tomorrow 
I can be in this seat, right? Right. So that's the just the personal impact on the person. But the impact that we also look for is behavioral. That is this person. For example, some of them are okay, uh, not very vocal about their thoughts. Sure, they do have thoughts. And when you encourage them to do that, is behaviorally, you know, you're witnessing that change. That in meetings, after a couple of times of nudging, encouragement, etc., that they've started voicing their opinion. Mm -hmm. I do see that. That in the, in terms of their their capability to lead teams, handle large teams, is that being demonstrated now with all the coaching that happens, which is on the job as well as mentoring at uh, Wellspin as well as skill set upgrading, is that happening now? that's the behavioral aspect of it and the third and and you know that's almost like an output of all these inputs is that uh, the impact on performance and productivity and how are they seen you know as as um, as contributors from their managers i think that's that's the most telling of, of all that you know that this person has delivered results that are surpassing expectations right beating expectations that's that's the high that you get out of uh, finally engaging with women and and having all these programs that at the end of the day the productivity for the organization and the impact and uh, the performance is just so much better mm -hmm. overall for the org mm -hmm. and also for the individual well thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us and we congratulate you on all that you're doing it's it's certainly very inspiring thank you thank you very much what i'm particularly proud about women of wealth fund that it allows this initiative to reach women in the corporate as well as women who are actually working in the plants. Next, we spoke to Bidisha Banerjee for her take on how the Women of Wellspun Initiative has created a culture of inclusion at all levels of the organization. So I'm curious to understand what inspired Wellspun to champion this Women of Wellspun initiative. Right, so India is on its journey. You know, we're making this journey. We're aspiring as a nation to be the third largest economy by 2030. And it will be unwise to think that women will not partake a role in this journey. And I think our thought behind having an initiative like Women of Wellspun was to shoulder this responsibility sure. along with the nation, right? Because uh, we wanted to create an initiative which nurtured women who were in internally with us and also create more room and space for women to come and work with us in Wellspun. Vidisha, help me better understand what distinguishes the Women of Wellspun initiative from other corporate women-focused programs in the market. Right. So I think, you know, one of the things that I've seen in my experience that a lot of focus is given only on the corporate women. But I think Wellspin Group is a large conglomerate. We have women who work in our factories and in our plant. And what I'm particularly proud about Women of Wellspun that it allows this initiative to reach women in the corporate as well as women who are actually working in the plants. Right. Right, so it's, it is very inclusive of every women employee in among Wellspun Group. And the other piece is that many times I've seen that, you know, um, the programs are really initiatives in terms of workshop. So sure. what we've done is we've gone like a, a, a further, step further. We've looked at a complete holistic development of women. So whether it's their mental wellness, whether it's their physical wellness, whether it's their emotional wellness, Women of Wellspun is all inclusive. We have a psychologist on board with us, so if women want, they can reach and speak with her. We have a nutritionist who works with us, who actually provides um, bespoke, customized plans for women for their own health and fitness. Phenomenal. We also have a yoga, master yoga teacher empaneled with us. So we believe that, you know, it's, it's a healthy mind, body, and together is what will make a better workplace for women here. Absolutely. And on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, outside of this initiative, how does Wellspun inspire and involve all of its stakeholders, including its male employees, to march forward on equal footing towards the organization's shared goals and shared purpose? 
what we do is for all our employees it is mandatory to go through an inclusion diversity workshop so each and every employee who joins the organization is to be a part of that workshop but i think your question is so brilliant because unless you take the stakeholders especially the men who manage these women right, right, right. so unless you partake and partner with them um, this journey is incomplete right so what we've done is we're actually doing workshops where we're working with the male managers of these women and we're working with them to sort of see how do you manage and nurture women talent better so you are actually conducting workshops with this men which are not your regular off the cuff uh, ppt driven workshops with workshops which involve drama and theater where they can actually experientially talk about real life examples and this skill will help them better nurture this women talent that works with them phenomenal thank you so much for shedding more light on the initiative and we wish you all the best with respect to the future thank you so much after our conversations with management we spoke to employees at wellspun for a first hand take on wellspun's work culture Hi everyone, I'm Deepa Urmil from the Learning Culture and Employer Branding team of Wellspun. Women of Wellspun for me is an ideology. It's a way of life and I strongly believe that empowering women is not only about the women but the whole ecosphere. I was reading an article that said empowering women isn't just the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do. And I couldn't agree more. To encourage gender diversity and empower women, Women of Wellspun includes mentoring and coaching to support career growth. encouraging women employees to identify their development areas and work on them through the cohort under women of wellspun known as the conscious women of wellspun we have safe and secure channels of informal communication and collaboration to seek support with each other we also have connects with our senior women leaders where women can freely share their concerns as well as success stories We are elated to have a platform like this where women can upskill and excel as the organization gives them all the possible tools at hand. At Wellspin, it's a privilege to be part of an organization that truly values and embodies in an inclusive workplace and equality within its within its environment. Um I've looked at women at the women associates at the shop floor. Um the impact that Wellspin has created with with uh um, with women who are at the grassroots levels who are part of villages and rural areas around the plants through our spun initiatives the women para athletes that we fund and sponsor and take care of through our wellspun super sports women program and now the women of wellspun program all of these have been great programs with far reaching impact uh truly showcasing a spirit of having in inclusivity and equality at the workplaces women of wellspun जो कंपनी में ऑर्गेनाइज किया है जो तो लेडीज़ों के लिए बहुत ही अच्छा है और मैं ये ज्वाइन करना चाहती हूँ महिलाओं को जो आगे बढ़ना चाहती हैं उनमें वो सब इस वाव में ज्वाइन होके आगे बढ़े मैं बहुत एक्साइटेड हूँ इवन मैं इतने एक्साइटेड हूँ कि मेरा मन कर रहा है मैं ये सर्कल अभी डाउनलोड करके सारे देख लूँ कि उसमें आगे क्या क्या और होने वाला है तो मैं बहुत एक्साइटेड हूँ और मुझे सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज़ ये लगी कि हम एसोसिएट के लिए ये मैम ने सोचा दीपाली मैम ने तो थैंक यू दीपाली मैम एंड थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ वर्ल्ड टीम कि हमें इसका हिस्सा बनाया मैं इस ऐप से बहुत कुछ नॉलेज पाई हूँ ये ऐप हमारे लिए बहुत अच्छा है इसमें हमें जो नॉलेज मिला है वो हमारे लिए और हमारे साथ में जो काम करने वाली सब महिलाएँ हैं उनके लिए बहुत हेल्पफुल है इस हिसाब से हम लोग बहुत कुछ सीख सकते हैं आज हमने वा मीटिंग अटेंड की हमें बहुत ही अच्छा लगा क्योंकि ये प्रोग्राम में ऐसी बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जिसकी वजह से हम अपना फ्यूचर ब्राइट कर सकते हैं हम हमें बहुत सारी जानकारी मिल सकती है अपनी हेल्थ से रिलेटेड फाइनेंस से रिलेटेड अपनी स्टडी से रिलेटेड हम बहुत ही खुश हैं कि आपने ऐसा प्रोग्राम बनाया थैंक यू सो मच